I'm a member of the Sault Ste. Marie Police Service. I've been here since uh, 2007. Uh, prior to that, I had some experience uh, working for a couple other police services starting in the year 2000. Uh, somebody actually had just come in uh, to report that uh, their grandson had uh, called uh, and that he was in jail. Yes, my, my husband answered the phone and there was someone on the other end that said it was our grandson and that he was in jail and needed $20,000. A lot of the information that he's getting is very vague. When a family member's in trouble, uh, they're just pulling on those heartstrings to make you worry and know that, you know, I, they gotta help them out as soon as possible. They're, anytime they're told not to tell people, it's, it's a big red flag. And, and that's exactly what happened, is as the person was talking to uh, the bank, uh, they had said, oh, I have a family member that's in trouble and they uh, need a large sum of money and I have to wire it to them. And the teller asked why we were looking for that kind of money and suggested it was probably a scam and we should call the police. Uh, right in front of him at the desk, I, I made the phone call, and it's a deadline. There's, it goes to nowhere. But of course, then they try and call, follow up, you know, just saying, oh, there must be a problem with, with your phone. You couldn't get a hold of us. Now we're following up with you. And, and that's just how they carry on this fraud. Uh, the gentleman had, had come in, uh, lucked out. Uh, because both the bank uh, was able to send him this way. And as soon as he came in the door, uh, sure enough, uh, he spoke with us and we let him know, yeah, definitely, it, it sounds like a fraud. While he was here, he made that phone call that he should have made to his grandson and spoke to his grandson. And lo and behold, he wasn't in jail. So it uh, definitely uh, stopped him from losing any money, but there's so many people that do. Okay, so oftentimes uh, the, the, the fraud it was committed and then the, the person discovered that it was a fraud, so they would come to the police service and make a report. Um, the officer would then you know, analyze the information that they have and if it's something that they feel should be uh, um, passed over to the fr fraud department, that's where I come in. Sometimes production orders have to be written um, to get bank records to see who the, the suspect is. So I do a lot of production orders uh, to get bank records um, to identify a suspect. If you or your family have been the victim of fraud, we are here to help. Please contact the police and an officer will support you through the process. Always remember, in cases of emergency, call 911 for immediate help.